Welcome. In this edition of Yojana, we would mainly focus on space innovation. So, in space innovation and exploration mainly relate to the applications, the transport system, and the infrastructure. Human flights like Gaganyaan and Chandrayaan, uh, the the moon flight, have been part of it. So, development of rover, land uh, lander craft are some of the important technologies under Chandrayaan one. Chandrayaan two talked about the orbiter. Uh, the lunar rover and the lunar lander craft uh, similarly there have been programs related to space robotics known as vyomitra human uh, ro uh, robot humanoid robot and then robotic arm for umbilical systems 3d printing in the space there is another uh, aspect which is known as poem pslv ro uh, ex uh, orbital experimental module which has been uh, used the which has used the fourth uh, stage of pslv for the experiments also integrated main parachute airdrop test system has been brought into account there have been evolution of the isro rockets from slv aslv pslv gslv lmv and sslv now space applications mainly pertain to agriculture land use fishery management uh, planning monitoring and the various government programs and policies for this the ground technologies which are required are mainly a radar system a multi object tracking system ground segments also advanced ground stations with uh, disaster, uh, distress alert transmitter the imaging technologies which are used are again important so GPR ulti altimeter is one of those T TDI imaging and VHR imaging are another among those uh, there have been various innovations in the space technology uh, the list of which has been cited and would be available in the handouts as well now the series so Chandrayaan 1 the lunar trajectory design with traces of water on the lunar surface Chandrayaan 2 talking about the atmosphere and soft landing Mar uh, Mars orbiter mission which is mom talks about the design space uh, telemetry the next is ai chatbots now here uh, artificial intelligence has been brought for chatbox bots and this is again a very important development which has been brought in the various sectors from healthcare finance education and so on there are numerous services where these are offered so patients could seek answer from the chatbots chatbots could schedule the appointment monitor and follow up uh, also play an important role in media and literature so what are the services that are becoming available through chatbots so it's e-commerce education digital transformation of education banking so any kind of summarization of the customer profile analyzing the bank services providing information guiding about loan uh, security or breach problems Aadhaar chatbots which are known as Aadhaar chat uh, Aadhaar Mitra talks about the location centers enrollment centers however they do have their own challenges mainly they are gaining capability to match the human intelligence and the human output however there are two school of thoughts one says that ai would be the result of natural process of development the other says that they would acquire such a knowledge beyond uh, the human knowledge which could visualize in the future and could uh, actually become a challenge for the creator itself so as always technology with its boon and being coming into existence but there are major challenges which talks about improper response lack of emotional intelligence biasness uh, lack of empathy ethical issues which are related to it in the 5g we are talking about the launch of 5g in delhi mumbai mangaluru and kolkata there are standards for wireless communication which reduces the latency and is a step forward to 1g 2g 3g and 4g uh, the latency would be significantly reduced and by 2024 we believe nearly 150 million population would switch to 5g usage uh, the initial network would be small but later on new uh, setups would be brought and nearly uh, 27 billion would be connected to iot devices where uh, two important developments would be required one is denial of uh, service attacks and man in the middle attacks so uh, Mer uh, merai botnet in 2016 was exploited due to unsecured iot devices vulnerability and this is again a major issue that we need to check on atmanirbhar 5g test batch for startup has been started and there have been evolution on the threats security protocols and digital infrastructure in the section of health we are talking about internet of medical things where medical devices application to uh, ai systems have been increasing ayushman bharat digital mission is one of those where data information and uh, details are being recorded abha which is the health account is an important 14 digit number and this would be provided to the hospital and the sharing would be done based on this so this graph actually talks about how the citizens and the patients would benefit through this digital portal similarly 
e-sanjeevni would be a portal through which the information to the various doctors opd clinics would be provided uh, nikshay is a portal which has been launched uh, to diagnose the tuberculosis and provide nutritional and vocational support covin uh, technology has been brought where uh, covid vaccination was digitally recorded with high amount of scalability modulability and interpolability so again a development the features of covin we all have been familiar with so it could track the vaccination schedule provide a certification it was available with various languages and a real time dashboard was there the next is telemanus which is providing mental health facilities uh, through tele uh, Uh, tele prescriptions e prescriptions follow up services uh, and if required scheduling an in person appointment but this has been coming with the national tele consultation services e sanjeevni and being uh, promoted by the mental health professionals for better and effective development similarly uh, health technology assessment for various age groups and diseases has been done established in 2017 now this has been brought and created under the department of health clinical effect effectiveness and cost effectiveness is one of the important factors in the fe- field of edtech uh, enabling consistent quality education is one of the features ict revolution is again an important sector which we need to consider uh, for edtech learning while playing classes anywhere anytime and quality teachers is one of the basic ideas now teachers also nurture among the students emotional social and intelligence quotient ai is being used for grading purpose and digital resources are regularly used uh, video and audio simulations have been used the next is the growth drivers for india one is a good demographic demographic dividend of india good technology infrastructure initiatives by the government the change which has been brought by pandemic where we have a hybrid mode of uh, development there have been various challenges uh, for the funding and the success but those need to be brought forward with better promotion facilitation social instructions and uh, interactions and practical uh, opportunities the next is the concept of quantum computing now quantum computing is in the early stages of development however department of science and technology is working forward to develop quantum technology in the field of finance drug logistics secure communication ai and computation where data Data science, artificial intelligence, and decision uh, sciences could be taken into account. The impact is better uh, data analysis, better machine learning outcomes, improved industrialization. It can be applied to artificial intelligence, cryptography, particle physics, and financial modeling. There have been computer simulation toolkits as well for quantum computing, and a legal framework for the same needs to be designed. Uh, designed, which includes the data science decision. science and machine learning now there are various startups the idea is to revolutionize these startups at a story of 2047 and the government is working with the startup uh, concept through the department of promotion of industry and internal trade uh, now what is important uh, disruptions in the innovations technological advancements to be given a thirst and bringing in policies which support the development of startups in india so innovative solutions being brought bringing in more employment for the public and if it is in the early stage early adoption uh, could actually bring in easy availability of the capital and bring in funding for the same so to seed the startup seed fund scheme has been released which focuses on the prototype the product trials market entry uh, then we do have assistance for finance through the ffs scheme launched in 2016 but there are definite challenges which bring in which are being brought up by uh, the issues of loans through the venture debt scheduled commercial banks and extending the duration of loans if required the next is through the manual publishing moving towards digital publication so publishing industry in 2022 reached at nearly 33.2 billion mark and this is aimed to go to 41 billion marks in 2028 further expanding at a rate of 3.4% however there have been digital and regional content coming in and this has brought in e readers who feel um, the digital format to be more user friendly friendly where flipping of the pages video animations interactions could be brought rather than the manual books so digital technology and e books publication of e books uh, virtual reality with augmented reality this has become a new aspect so even the writers are now moving to self publication writing on their own and giving them a kind of 
platform where increased availability of digital content could be given but this comes with their inborn challenges in the publishing which is mainly the piracy downloadability of the digital content copyrighted material constant and regular updates to be done and high quality content to be brought the next is urban planning and the technology for the same so building in uh, cloud computing systems uh, for the urban planners specifically the metropolitan areas checking out the distance in the accommodation use of gis for decision making and policy making uh, how gis works so how do you view open and print the information through the gis uh, the uh, municipal solid waste management system being tracked use of internet of things for uh, the urban region is again some of the points which is really important for understanding the urban planning so this session was specifically designed on the technology and the interaction of technology with humans mainly focusing on ai chatbots talking about quantum computings focusing on the technology and the impact on human life in the fields of healthcare and education so that was the basis for this lecture we do meet with yojna kurukshetra and down to earth on a regular basis every month stay subscribed have a wonderful evening